This comedy hate has to stop. The comedy hate. Hey, I even sent an olive tree out to um to little to I keep calling him Little Wayne <laughs> to to Country Wayne. I I sent out uh 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 I sent out um a uh, olive branch to him because I want to talk to him. My 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 agent knows Country Wayne, and I even said, "Hey, Country Wayne, hey man, I'm willing to talk. Let's talk man to man." Yo, what's up? This bruh man from the fifth flow. And you tuned in to Forgotten Kings TV. Moments ago, comedian Godfrey responds to Country Wayne dissing him over his comments he made in his Club Shay Shay interview with Shannon Sharp. That's right, y'all. Apparently, Country Wayne heard what Godfrey had to say and took his comments as disrespect. So he went on IG yesterday to address Godfrey in his comments and any other comedian who he feels has been hating on him and his success over the years. So, of course, comedian Faison Love goes on IG to respond to Country Wayne dissing Godfrey over his comments he made in this Club Shay Shay interview. Now, again, for those who may not know, Faison has been sending shots at Country Wayne for a couple years now, right? So this is why Godfrey in today's response was very confused as to why Country Wayne heard what he said and took it as disrespect. So before we get into what Godfrey had to say in response to Country Wayne, let me know your thoughts on this back and forth between Country Wayne and Godfrey. Do you think Godfrey was hating on Country Wayne or do you agree with fans when saying this is a simple misunderstanding? All right, but with that being said, my name is Sensei Rip. Till next time, peace. When Country Wayne was on here, yeah. I, first of all, I don't know Country Wayne at all, right. but I watched his video. I, I give him his credit for him making all that money. I was listening to him like, oh, what? how did you do this? Right. You know, I love his hustle. Smart dude. I mean, he making millions off of this shit. Right. I wish I, I could. But he said one statement that I disagreed with, Country. I disagreed with you. What was the statement? I, I think he said, and if I'm wrong, you correct me. Okay. Said something about... If anybody's in a comedy club still, that means you're not doing anything. Something like that mm -hmm. to that. I don't know if he okay. was answering Faison. Right. I think it was him and Faison right. going at it. Okay. He's saying if you're still in the comedy clubs, right. you're not a real comedian. Right. I think he said that. Am okay. I wrong? Something to that effect. And I go, but I think he was talking about him. Because, okay, like, please, because I was like, you are wrong right. about that shit. Right. I'm in the comedy clubs. DL's in the com comedy clubs are still being built. They're not fading away. Yeah. I might be. I might be in No, I think it. what he was saying yeah. is that that's his only choice is to do those. The people that you mentioned can do arenas. They can do theaters. Yeah. He's saying that he probably the only thing he can do. Okay. Is I'm like shit. Right. I'm, so what does that make me? Because no, it's no, no, not no, easy. No, no. First of all, it's not easy to fill a comedy club, mm -hmm. even if it's a 300 seater, 400 seater. It's not easy. Right. Like. Hey man, hey, this is a message for um shout out to Shannon Sharp for representing me on his um club Shay Shay when Godfrey tried to come and say whatever, whatever with Godfrey and all the other comedians who've been hating on me a long time. Let me tell y'all something. Every comedian to me funny. Now, if you want some advice on probably why you never gained that audience, because bro, you the audience you speaking to just ain't the pop audience. I don't know what you talking to. I might not be funny to you because I was I was speaking to the streets of where I come from, all the hustlers. Not the Jack Boys, but the hustlers and the bad and, and to the bad ones. I always kept the bad women and the people who get that money, the people who work hard. You know what I'm saying? Not you know, hustling ain't just selling drugs and all that. I'm talking about people who work hard, take care of their family, black people play spades, um, uh the white people who understand the culture, who've been around the culture, yo, what you talking about just ain't what people own. People still need twenty dollars, my boy. So you out there, I'm going to give you some advice. You out there talking about them jokes about whatever you talking about. Bro, if you been in this game that long and that audience ain't came to you yet, switch it up. Switch it up, my boy. It's subject matter. And your subject just don't matter. So all these comedians out here that got country Wayne name in their mind, bro, don't be mad because your girl, I mean your girl mind, what you mad about because all the aunties and all the, the, the black women, we love country Wayne and all the real ones, all the real dudes out there who really... About they family, hey, Country Wayne, my boy, you would never get them. Your haircut on that interview, if you seen it, it, that's why they don't rock with you. That's why, ain't no, you, I'm riding through Chicago right now, cause I got a show at a theater that I'm gonna make a 100K plus in the real Chicago streets gonna be in there. Ain't nobody in Chicago got that haircut and talking like that and leaning like that when they talk.
So all the comedians who got my name in your mind, y'all was the lame dudes in high school who the girls ain't like. And this is why y'all can't get it. Because you still mad about the girl who dealt with old boy. Man, keep my name out your mouth, my boy. Like, for real. You up there talking about something. I said, if you're in the comedy club, if you're in the comedy club, you ain't get, it. you ain't no real comedian. I didn't say that. It was comedian coming out, coming for me. Who And I said, he can't, he he forced to go to a comedy club. I go to comedy club still. The comedy clubs is what we came from. If one for the comedy clubs, I want to be where, I, where I'm at. I still go there to work on material. I'm going to continue to go back. The, the work, you know what I'm saying? To work on another special. But it's a message for Godfrey. And, and 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 shout out to um shout out to Shannon Sharp for stopping that because he was trying to say something that I didn't say on there, bro. Listen here, man. Only thing you gotta do a comment for it by Wayne. How you doing? What you doing? I got the people, bro. The coach ain't a lot of the, a lot of that stuff. That's why when people be like, I love when people say they don't like my comedy because I know them the lanes. Get out of here. I'm in Chicago right now, and in the street they gonna be in there. Yo. Man, keep my name out your mind, my boy, for real, though. Like, I ain't, I ain't one of no comedians. Everybody who really know me now, this the real Wayne. This the Wayne Coley. Bump all that country Wayne stuff, man. I don't play like that. That's why you don't see me hanging with nobody and all that, because I, no, I was not no class clown. I ain't popping no pencils throwing across class, my boy. Yeah. Yeah, so, man, congratulations to you. But if you want some advice, you got my number. Don't be going on there talking, man. Think going to get so clout off me, because I'm going to tell you what it really is. I'm going to tell you why black people really rock with me, because they see me. Everybody in this sprint of black. Everybody in my production, they eating. All my baby mamas, my family, my grandma, everybody get a check every month. So what they see, you so worried about uh, comedy, the the world, the culture looking like, bro, we need to take care of each other. So Country Wayne is, is bro, this is legendary. Man, you, you ain't me, and I, and I ain't you. Keep my name out your mouth, my boy. For real. You know what I'm saying? Work harder. Let's get let get a special out. You to my soul, Netflix, it's give you the money. Boy, you don't know. I put up my own paper. You know what I'm saying? You begging for money. If your grandma be mad that you sitting on a lot, sitting on there begging for somebody to put some money behind you. It ain't good. You won't even put the money behind you. Because you spend, you spend too much time talking about somebody else who got it. My boy, keep my name out your mind, man. All y'all, for real. Godfrey. My guy, Godfrey, listen, brother, I saw your interview. It was great. Love your energy. You've always been a good, funny, smart, true to yourself. This country wing, mother, this hillbilly ain't never been outside his territory, wherever he from, the Appalachians, of wherever the fuck, some hills, where they fuck their own families and shit. I don't know where the keep from but if I see you on stage I'm snatching it off that's on Emerald I'm snatching this I'm sick of the bullshit all these goofy ass motherfuckers want to talk shit from a safe place from Club Shay Shay sucking corporation I done said too much this summer, I'm snatching off stage. Godfrey, like he don't know that you'll fold up like a napkin and throw him in a goddamn hut, Hudson River. He don't know that. He thinks because you're smiling and you got the, the, the he don't know Godfrey. He's goofy. He's a fucking hillbilly. He just got electricity. Fuck this nigga, country wing mother. You inaccurate, dumb, stupid mother Country Wayne tried to talk about you and all the comments said he was wrong. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I did not shit on Country Wayne. I don't know why he thought I shit on him. I didn't shit on Country Wayne, man. I, Yeah, someone told me that, but my agent, my agent called him. I don't know why my Country Wayne decided to pick me. It's, it's Faison that was talking about his ass. Faison. Faison Love literally shit on Country Wayne. Faison Love did. That's what Faison does. Country Wayne is a hater. And and listen, I don't know Country Wayne. I don't know him. I, I know he makes a lot of money off of Facebook. And I know he does comedy around the country, but I don't know him like that. All I said was, 
I just responded to what he said. Country Wayne is not a veteran comedian. He needs to show respect. Oh, I believe in that totally. There are people that are older than me. I um, D.L. Hughley called me today and congratulated me. I gave him props and everything. How do you Faze on Love is the one that dogged him. And he got dogged by other people. I never dogged Country Wayne. I don't know him. And then he wants to make a video telling me to keep my name out of his mouth. Why don't you say that about Faison? Country Wayne said that I was jealous of him. Because I, he said, nobody comes to see me. Really? I mean, people come to see me at a comedy club. All I said was I disagree with him saying that if you're at a comedy club that he said that you're not doing, you're not a real, com or something he said about being in a comedy club is a bad thing. That's where you find comedians. Comedy clubs are built for com comedians. That, that doesn't make any sense. Jerry Seinfeld still goes to comedy clubs and he's a billionaire. What are you talking about? Chris Rock still works out at comedy clubs because that's where Richard Pryor worked out at comedy clubs. George Carlin came to comedy clubs to work out. They did theaters, yeah. That's all I'm saying. And I don't know the brother and I had no malice for him. I actually complimented him on his um, on his hustle. He's making 20 million a year. I said, damn, that's dope. I'm telling you. Yeah, man, this comedy hate has to stop. The comedy hate, hey, I even, sent an olive tree out to um to little to i keep calling him little wayne <laughs> to, to country wayne i i sent out uh 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 i sent out um an uh, olive branch to him because i want to talk to him my 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 agent knows country wayne and i even said hey country wayne hey man i'm willing to talk let's talk man to man let's talk man to man because you really misinterpreted what i said you know, you really misinterpreted what I said. It's just like T.I. misinterpreted what I said. But me and T.I. are good to go. But Country Wayne, uh, no. Like, how did you get the hate from what I said? I and he, he, this is what he did. I said, Country Wayne, I love his hustle, but I disagree on him when he talked about comedians being in comedy clubs. Because he does theaters and stuff, because he has big numbers. But... I said, I disagree with what you said about being in a comedy club. That's what I said. And then I said, but I love his hustle. And then later on in the, in the, um, in the, um, later on in the interview, um, I said, it's unfair that Netflix is giving specials to people who are not ready. I wasn't talking about uh, Country Way. What I was saying was, country. first of all, Country Wayne, Country Wayne bought, paid for his own special, which is dope as fuck. He didn't wait on Netflix. He didn't wait on Showtime. He didn't wait on, on uh, 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 Amazon. He paid for his own special. He paid for his own special. Yes, he paid for his own special. So I'm not even talking about him. I'm talking about the specials that Netflix pays for and puts these people on that are not even ready to do an hour. That is what I said. We the knockout kings of comedy. This your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Sharon you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. Me old, you fucking lambskin condoms. I don't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from LDs. The fuck wrong with you? LDs, you should eat this. We don't know what the fuck that meat is. Yeah. For real, I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping myself. It ain't no point of both of us get. Look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. Pop, 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 Twenty dollars, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> uh. no sir. First of all, can I ask y'all a personal question? Is this microphone really necessary? At this Not y'all.
I will punch left, punch left, punch left. Get out of the car. Give me a second.